David, this has been a tough environment to navigate because so many investors on both the bond and the stock side feel like we're in this no man's land. It could go up or down dramatically. So how exactly do you find value in that kind of environment? Well, it's challenging. Good afternoon, Don. It's, uh, it's been very challenging, to obviously, to, to figure out the direction here of the markets with the volatility and, and the interest rate rise that we've experienced over the last couple of years, unprecedented in many respects, and the interesting shape of the yield curve and it's the, the volatility of that shape over the last couple of years has also been remarkable. So it's, it's a little challenging to kind of see a pathway forward for either the stock or the bond market, given all that change. If that's the case, there are certain places that you say are better positioned from a longer term perspective, and that would be worth kind of getting into, maybe legging into position by position, what types of names go on that kind of shopping list? So at Rockland Trust, we're big investors in really high quality companies. And one of the companies that sort of is focal point for us today is ExxonMobil. The, the recent deal uh, announcement caused the stock to kind of pull back a little bit. We feel very constructive about the transaction and the outlook for uh, oil prices over the coming quarters and years. We think the commodity is going to be in demand for a long time to come. And this particular deal gives them a real focus on one of the premier basins in this country, the Permian. And uh, we think it's a fantastic deal, really compelling cash flows in the future and a very attractive dividend yield of about 3.3% right now. So we like that one a great deal. In addition to that, we like a couple of growth-oriented companies. Um, we're highlighting Visa today. It's a great company with a, a price-to-earnings multiple that looks a little bit rich on its core, but when you compare it to itself over history, it's actually reasonably compelling relative to its historical multiple. And the other one is uh, Viva Technologies, which is a company that creates software for the healthcare space, uh, full suite of products helping primarily in the drug and, and uh, medical device discovery areas. Uh, it's a really interesting growth trajectory. And again, a multiple that's well high, about 36 times earnings, uh, looks compelling relative to where it's traded historically, kind of out of favor at the moment. So we like the potential of both of those last two companies to have multiple expansion and solid earnings growth. Yeah, I go back to TransUnion, which Dom mentioned off the top, David, and a big drop in that stock as they're talking about consumer weakness. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dom, and, you know, maybe some uh, labor market weakness Absolutely, as well. Yep. David, if we're heading into a more challenged macro environment, I can actually see the case for growth stocks in, in that kind of period. You've got to go to where the growth is. But we're also heading into one with, uh, with high interest rates or at least higher than we had during the 2010s. Where else, what other kinds of stocks do you think such a landscape would favor? Well, I think it, you really have to focus on companies that are quality companies that generate cash flow. At the end of the day, to, to us, that's the most important thing. And it's, this gives you the staying power to kind of ride the volatility that's embedded in an environment like the one that we're in at the moment, where it's not really clear the pathway out. I, I say all the time to our clients, you know, this has been one of the most forecasted recessions that never happened, at least hasn't happened so far. So it's unclear the trajectory of the economy. In the kind of period like that, you want to have a rock solid balance sheet. You have to have companies that understand the, the, the debt structure they have on the balance sheet that are not exposed to a, a near term refunding that's going to cause a lot of pain from their cash flows perspective. And if you do that, you, you can ride through these challenging times and come out the other side in a really strong position.